It might be tough. Um, you're there, you have your sword, you have your weak armor, and there's a guy attacking you. He will probably kill you in the beginning, but... It's a matter of player skill. You will learn it. You will, you will learn how to control your sword. You will learn how to parry attacks, how to block attacks. When you do this, when there's this guy that killed you one month ago, just when you joined the server, and one month later you join the server and kill him with ease because you just understand the game better than him. This is the most rewarding moment in melee battlegrounds. I'm far away trying to shoot someone. And then suddenly someone tries to sneak up on me and get a drop on me. And then there's a horse coming and there's arrows flying and everything is just bad. But somehow we end up managing the situation coming up on top. You really have to focus on the game, you really have to focus on the battle because it's really intense and you have to attack, block, parry and do this all within seconds, within milliseconds. You think you know what he's going to do and then suddenly he stops and does something else instead. You think he blocks, he faints, you faints, he attacks. Every fight is like very close up and, and direct. You can feel it. It completely depends on what you like and what kind of game you want to play. In duel, uh, you will face off against one or multiple opponents in a closed-off area, sort of like an arena, and you can really try your skills. In Conquest, you will uh, attack on a larger scale, and you will have objectives that you try to take. A flag, a castle, a whole town, it can be anything. Siege is a bit more straightforward. You assault a castle or a strong point, and you try to take that from your opponent within a limited time frame. In battle, we will have two teams uh, fighting each other, and you will only have one life, uh, so you will have to be careful about that life. And you will have to try and uh, outsmart your opponent without wasting your own life and health. This is the hardest mode. The stronghold is the biggest thing we are working on. We are actually spicing up the game with strategy elements. You have to conquer the entire territory of the map. You can actually build stuff, place walls and towers and gatehouses and create big castles within a short time. And then you actually have to assault the enemy's castle. You bring any kind of siege weapon you can think of and actually have to try and take the enemy for. It's very tactical, but it's also very fun. Everyone is recognizable. It can be a funny hat, it can be silly shoes, or maybe something written on your sword in Latin. It can be anything, but the important thing is that it actually matters. Because when you're out on the battlefield, you can recognize other characters. So you will keep on meeting them over and over. You see his face, you know him from last time. You know what is he going to do. If they have unique looks, you will also maybe learn to fear who to attack or who you will maybe not want to face down on the battlefield.
I want to have one-handed sword, I want to have one-handed axe, I want to have two-handed axe, a vulgar, spear, bardish, golden dog, have maze, bows, crossbows, hell, you can use stones if you want. <laughs> You battle against other players from all over the world. Uh, we aim for several hundred players. Uh, and the maps and the levels have to be larger to come with it. When you face 50 opponents, it's fine. But when you face another 50 opponents, and the battle just keeps on going and going. You never know what's come, what's the next corner, or behind the next hill, or who's lurking behind the tree. That's actually one of the best parts about this. We didn't get together like professionally. We were all gamers. We all knew each other for years, even though we never seen each other. We've just chatted. Everyone was a, was a player and just uh, brought himself into the game. He just made stuff like coding, map design. They just did their stuff and brought it into the game. And at one point, we just asked him to join us. And that's why we have such a great team. Yeah, I think that's really what defines us. Everyone who develops this game is really into it because we all want to play what we're creating. This is one of the most important points for us. We really want to, 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 to create a game that we love to play.